really important when you've got a new baby that all interactions between dogs and babies are controlled, supervised, Hello. and really calm. What do you think, William? So William's just a few months, and he's becoming really aware of Ozzy. What I don't want him to become aware of is barking and the size of his body, his teeth. So all these interactions are really controlled. Ozzy's a very safe dog, um, meaning he's been around a lot of kids, he's well behaved, he's calm, but something we practice is this head down game. See how he's kind of tucking his head down here into my legs, it's kind of hard to see, but um, this gives me the chance for William to watch him. William can touch him. I try not to let William pull on his ears or stick his hand in his mouth, but Ozzy really likes this calm petting time. Also, it builds good relationships that when the baby's out, you don't just get sent away. The traditional lady in the tramp model is the dog arrives and the, the baby arrives rather and the dog goes outside. Um, you do have to make some changes like where the dog sleeps, if the dog sleeps in your bed or in your sleeping area if the baby's up throughout the night. But having these little interactions, come here, Ozzy, come here, head down. Good boy, good boy, I know you always want to lick, good boy. And then William can start to feel his fur and be aware of one another. So just having really calm interactions. Um, you can do this with food. I like it just to be soothing and petting. And William just gets to watch and take it in and think that it's a really calm, nice, clean thing. The other is cleanliness. You gotta bathe your dogs, brush them out regularly. Ozzy's a Chinook, so he's double coated, which means lots of hair. So we've gotta constantly brush them and vacuum them so that our floor can be clean for our baby to crawl around on. So keep these interactions fun, safe, and really, really calm. Dogs need solid obedience for babies to be in the house, so practice these skills before baby gets there. And if it's too late, if baby's here, devote some of your time during naps to some light training. You can do training that fits into your schedule, even as a busy parent, like go to your bed, feeding the bowl, going for leash walks with the stroller. This kind of stuff will help deepen the relationship that the dog doesn't get pushed out or forgotten when the babies arrive, right? Keep it fun, keep them safe. Yeah, you have anything you wanna add? You good? <laughs> All right, safe dogs, safe babies, right? Well.